All right. Okay, teams are ready. So uh, nine fingers. I hope you're back or you're really quick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I can see yeah, it. He, okay. he's, he's, can, he's gonna be really quick. Start off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, all right. He'll be. He's only grabbing a snack. We'll be all right. <laughs> he'll be okay. Yeah. So this is our. Uh, this is the fourth matchup here. We're there gonna we go. have. Blame Elias on the attack this time round and uh, Eden trying to defend for the win. And uh, if they do defend for the win, they'll get the first place spot of uh, the tournament of CB Rivals. So we'll wait and see how these guys decide to de defend this one. Um, mm. If it's going to be a similar idea that Blame Elias took out, um, we'll wait and see. But it doesn't look like they're bringing any cav yep. for the defense here. Definitely doesn't look like they're going to sally out. And as you can see, Blame Elias has every single hero spawning on that far top half side uh, supply point so they're mm -hmm. looking to kind of yeah start that's already off very different way up here. yeah it's going to be interesting they've got iron reapers they've got modals uh lots of uh, palace guards in there as well plenty of iron reapers engines and even a unit of keshik's around there as well so yeah. um they will be used yeah for sure and, and on the on the eden side there's four muskets and plenty of pole axes so they they've definitely chosen a specific uh, setup for the for the heroes and same yeah. for uh for blame lies they've, they've still got their their regular pull access shorts for some else yeah imagine you think... if eden would have sallied out though like uh, blame elias have got <laughs> no anti cav <laughs> they got like two units oh the thing is as well if they sallied out though all the units wouldn't be there so they'd have to run all the way around and catch them the sneaky because they were far away from them <laughs> they would be like oh shit, they're not there <laughs> but yeah it's uh it's gonna be interesting this one and it looks like blame elias might actually try to come up that left hand side sneak way up the the back towards the fort tower um, and try and work, uh, they kind of get their way in there or if they're just going to go try and take the wall then and go straight to A and grab A first and I'll wait and see how that works out but... Looks like Eden are going to pull all the way back to B as well I'd be surprised if they sit out on like A and uh, A and the resupply they might use a bit of the artillery, but... Nah, full retreat. They're going to send Namio up. He's going to use the cannons. Oh, oh Treb's on the... Treb? Oh, there yeah. on the bridge. I was like, where's the Treb coming from? Him. Going, to, going to breach... Yeah, if they take the, tre the the bridge down, it means they could just go straight to A, I guess, and take stop the heroes getting... Oh, the Warf Warf just jumped yeah. to go to the bridge as the bridge falls down. That's, that's a sad time to die. Warf, They're going uh, underneath uh, the bridge Warfish. though, look to try and catch yep. out the Sectomy, Zenger and Captain Obbs. So that's oh, Blame Elias is that sending all their guys up the stairs as well and into the... Down below. Uh, you've got Blood Story I've down honestly here. honestly never Captain been underneath Obvious. there. i just seen the Sectomy run up the staircase like from underneath the like the causeway or whatever you want to call it, the tunnel. I didn't even know there was a staircase there, man. Yep. It's a, I was trying to zoom in to see it actually, but I got stuck inside the building so I couldn't actually see the fight going on inside there because somebody, one of the mall players, was very low HP running away. Um, but I can't really get inside to see it and it's annoying me now. Uh, there we go. Captain OBS it was, he was running away, but he managed to get. Um, A is going to get taken, obviously, free of charge. Uh, Blood Story is the only one taking that, and the list of a. Uh, Blame Elias are down the stairs and going towards the little cap point so they can get the bridge up on the yeah. wall and uh, try and make their way in from there. Obviously, like, Blame Elias sallied out on Eden when they did it, but the aggressive speed from Blame Elias so far is so different to the methodical, slow, and measured push from Eden when, when Eden were at this stage of the game. Yeah, I it's wonder. definitely a lot faster, and the, the bridges obviously was was uh, broken there, and they managed to get it built and back up there, ready to go take that supply point quicker than uh, the time it took Eden to get there. But that was all because of Blame Elias' Sally out, right? So there's definitely going to be a quicker cap here at that point for that. Mizak was already in the spot for the supply point as well, so it would automatically start capping as soon as the uh, A was capped. Eden have already pushed some units towards their base point, if you like, so it looks like they're going to try and uh, squeeze Elias. They're going to hope probably that they come up the main staircase where the resupply is, what, what Missag just, just took, sorry. And then basically let them push in towards B and then come up from behind because they've got like maybe four or five units back there. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if they're going to just go up that small staircase then like the Eden did there and start to kind of set on themselves up to kind of go pushing back towards B. Or if they're going to... 
I was just waiting to say, or going to go down the other back staircase, and Blood Story's already going down the back staircase, so a lot of heroes are going to really far back around there, and he's going mm. to grab a spot up there with a sex and all that has to come around and get him. But uh, that's going to pull a lot of players from Eden. They're all starting to come around that way because they've seen the players there, so now called that out. Some players are starting to make their way around off of B, and if Blood Story's cl clever, he'll go back to his spot and start jumping over that wall trying to get Trebs in the spot. Maybe that's why he knows that spot. Maybe he's just using that. There comes the one of the trebs. Oh, it's Biggie with the first treb, and I don't think uh, any of them trebs will make it. Uh, I think maybe to... two hit from this angle. Yeah, or two three. would hit there. Three would hit there if it was if there was anything in that spot. But that is literally a stop me from uh, pushing forward kind of kind of, uh, kind of treb. But yeah, there's still like, Eden in a position here to pinch. Uh, all of blame alias here because if they all go into that stairwell and start making their way up towards B, then they're going to get hit from both directions, front and back. Yeah. Um, so yeah. that's going to be an interesting idea whether they do that. Aranor and Bravo are trying to go around the other side though here as they see Hydra coming around the back. Well, at least a, in. a treb in the top of the staircase though, so they're going to stop the, good second, idea, the second Zerg pushing in basically. Or at least damage it. Yeah, it's going to damage some, some units up here. That set of Iron Reapers got damaged pretty well there. They're getting pinched out from both sides here. Ooh, from Eden. A lot of heroes just dropped from Eden. Yeah. No, they've lost Eden's, six. Eden's down to nine alive. Nine alive here for Eden as a, a great push goes in they've from Blame Elias. They've a lot of heroes as you know well. What, uh, you know the thing about sorry. this as well? They're even closer to the home point they've and they've got people yeah. clapping B. So they can literally go straight home here now and instantly wipe this down to five heroes from Eden. Eden's going to lose this one in two seconds if everybody... Oh, where's Blame Elias going? Why are they moving that way? Should be Blame going... Elias and it gets straight they on the They are going the wrong way. They are there. definitely going the wrong way for this. They should just go straight home now. They should have went home. And they're all going the wrong way. Suddenly, Blood Story and Biggie, I think. Yeah, send it. they've got times to send tribes into the position where they think coming around the corner here. And the heroes are coming and Matix is coming out from the back here. That tribe's going to be Reaper. good as well. It's on top that's of the Iron Reapers. On the Iron Reapers. Yeah, Ooh, Iron Reapers and Senjis, yep. And there you go. That's a... A good chance they're going to start capping home point. Blame Elias have definitely practiced this map by the looks of it. Yeah. They know what they want. Yeah. And they've, they've executed it. have got my dial blocking if you like the shortest route from the respawn as well. Here comes the Trebs coming in as well. Once again, Sanji's are still in that back. They're hit here. Potentially by this. On the as well. Oh, Matex has just come from behind though with uh, Iron Reapers. Yeah, the Cylidars are wiping them though. It's a fight between <laughs> Veggie with his mall and the uh, Cylidars. A good charge in coming in here. From this side here, which wipes out a couple of units here on the it's point close, for uh, Eden, but it's going to be quite close. Yeah, definitely close e unit-wise. because they've managed to spawn in and have, actually have fully healed units. Might actually be... Ooh, that treble's good, though. But they're do they're doing quite well. Blame me, they're stopping too many people coming around at that supply point. Uh, hmm. So they're only having to come in one way, and they're felting them where the treble can be. So General Reap's going to get carried off. Point here, Vasectomy's coming around to the point here with Sexy Kawab trying to stop out as much as possible, but... Plenty of Cav coming in here, Keshik's trying to do some work here, picking up a couple of hero kills, Zenga and General Reap's the only ones that can really defend this point here, Dondorosa will die quite quickly being a sharp bow, and Sexy Wabs going to There's just There's a lot of units coming them. from uh, Eden coming around the corner though, it looks like they've got a couple of sets of Cav out as well. Somebody so must have be... a Treb here from Gen uh, Blame Melia, so ready for this. Go Sexy's Cavfrax oh. coming now. There you go, look how many heroes is alive in comparison on that point here. For Blame Elias, you're at 13 versus 6 heroes. Ghost X trying to do some work here, but as a Beer, medium he's not armor. Survive long. Hike, he's not gonna is just getting stun locked by Blood Story in the corner, so he's dead as well. Blame I Elias have just turned this series around in the mo matter of minutes. In a matter of minutes, they have turned this game to a tiebreak scenario. A, such an impressive attack, man. Like the difference on the aggressive speed that Blame Elias had, like at each stage that they'd planned, they just. Absolutely dominated him. Like that, that was, was that was phenomenal. Like that was so quick, so aggressive, and worked so well. Like they they, they held him off in that point, and because where they were holding Eden, yeah. rather than being halfway up the bridge, they were actually on the like closer to the home point than the B point for it to stop them getting back to it. And only had two people cap and B. They probably could have capped even quicker if they all went straight away. As yeah, well, like, they, like, as soon as like you were way. saying they're going the wrong way, they're going the wrong way. If they'd have pushed over, they would, that would have been over quicker, I reckon. So they would have yeah, cleared off the couple been... of guys that were there instantly, almost. Gentlemen, gentlemen. That were still alive? 
Even yeah, Zalgius. Interesting. Blood story getting the, the MVP here from Blame Alias. Three heroes. Here with six heroes, 91 units and seven How's assists. How's the Mag though again MVP for Eden? Like every single He's run so far. Absolutely top every single time. The power of the pike. Um, <laughs> um, if you can use it, that is, I, I say, if you can use it well, you get up there. Uh, but yeah, look at the time, the difference in hero kills here. Um, in terms of Eden, they didn't really kill very many heroes for that. Eight defense heroes there. only. Yeah. Eight heroes versus twenty six. Look at the troops killed as well. Four hundred for for Eden and Blame Elias killed nearly seven hundred. But it also Absolutely shows you how confident. quick that map was because there wasn't that many units really overall killed. There was a thousand it units took six overall minutes. killed. Six it minutes, took them six thousand minutes to units. Win. Whereas the last <laughs> few battles have been a thousand per team dead, and this went on to be like thirteen, fourteen. So just, that just was, so you can catch up there, because what's happened is is Eden won both the matches on Reganopolis. <laughs> and Blame Elise have just won both the matches on Le Grand Guerre. <laughs>